please state your name for the court? <laughs> My name is Suzanne. Suzanne? Yeah. Where are you from? Um, Scotland. Oh! <laughs> Let's just see if that's true, shall we? Okay. <laughs> which, uh, which town in Scotland are you from? Aberdeen. Aberdeen! <laughs> Known in Scotland as the Reno of the North. <laughs> Really? From Aberdeen? And, and England as well. Ah, England as well, eh? Scotland and England, you come from two places. I so what you're it. saying is Stephen Hawking was wrong. <laughs> you can be in two places at the same time. Correct. <laughs> Why are you in America? Because I work in D.C. now. Washington, D.C.? Yes. Are you in the CIA? I'm in the federal government. I can't say to disclose exactly where, no. <laughs> Are you a Navy SEAL? <laughs> Are you in SEAL Team 6? <laughs> <Hey. laughs> you really, you really work, you're Scottish and you work for the federal government? I do. What do you do? Um, you I can't, you really can't say? Or you can? No, I, I'm a programmer. Oh, a programmer? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Well, what kind of, well, you decide when they put on two and a half men, or...? Um, no, technical, like, computer coding. Oh, computer coding. Mm -hmm. oh, that's good. <laughs> so when did you leave Aberdeen, then? The um, 90... late 90s. Late 90s? Yeah. I was there before that. Okay. <laughs> did we...? <laughs> <laughs> you are really okay. <laughs> okay. Now, Suzanne, everybody, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> I know what you're thinking, Craig. You did terribly with that girl. <laughs> I know. That's how I am with Scottish women. <laughs> Hence my American citizenship. <laughs> we'll be right back. The Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson. Sponsored by Applebee's. See what's new on Applebee's 2 for 20 menu. Classics you love and new flavors you'll crave. sound just a little bit fake if you don't mind me saying so just a little bit forced almost as if the warm-up comedian was desperate because the last two nights the audiences have sucked <laughs> anyway luckily though everything has been repaired with the best audience i have ever seen Is it? <laughs> Let's see how they cope with lame material. <laughs> That'll be the true test. <laughs> Trying out a new noise. <laughs> I, uh, it is, however, a great day for America, everybody. <laughs> it is. You know, the car.
corridors, the corridors of CBS were cock-a-hoop today. Everybody was uh, buzzing because they, uh, it was revealed today that apparently the actor Hugh Grant had been in negotiations to join the cast of Two and a Half Men. <laughs> well, one of them's not bad. Apparently, no, that's what was going on. And I'm thinking, hmm, uh, hire a movie star for a sitcom who enjoys the company of prostitutes. That, that'll work. <laughs> What could possibly go wrong there? <laughs> you know that Bristol Palin confirmed today that she had plastic surgery on her jaw. It wasn't cos cosmetic. She needed to fix a misaligned jaw. Did we have a picture before the surgery? There she is. And then a picture after. There she is. <laughs> no, that's, that's all right. It was just for the... And we have, we have a computer-generated image of what she would look like in the future if she didn't get the chin surgery. Do we have a picture of that? Yeah, I see that. <laughs> right there. You know, today in France is the first day of the Cannes Film Festival. Is it Cannes or Cannes? <laughs> it doesn't matter. Most people who live there anyway are gone. They rent out their houses and apartments to the rich uh, people who fly in for the festival. The French have a name for those Hollywood types who show up every year. I I'm going to try and pronounce it right for you. I think it's <clears throat> Le Douchebags. <laughs> a lot of... Yeah, that's right. Yeah. That, thank you, failed actors. There's a... There's a lot of big movies at the premiere during the Cannes Film Festival. This year, the festival is opening with Woody Allen's new movie. And in this new movie, Owen Wilson travels back in time to meet Salvador Dali. Oh. <laughs> Wonder what Dali would think of that. Oh. There he is, yeah. say that the Woody Allen movie is actually really good. It's something you can enjoy. You can take along your wife or your daughter or perhaps they're the same person. <laughs> Too soon? <laughs> Too soon ye? <laughs> All right, that's enough. Mel Gibson's new movie is playing in Cannes too. It's about a middle-aged man who's so emotionally damaged he's only comfortable interacting with a hand puppet. It's called The Craig Ferguson Story. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah, right. And the amazing thing about the Cannes Film Festival is right next to the big Hollywood movies, they screen the obscure French art films. And the French have very different tastes than ours. They like films which are less um, linear. Uh, this year, everyone's talking about a, a French art film called uh, Fromage. We don't, we don't have a clip of the movie. We have the whole movie. <laughs> Take a look at this. Marie Claire, c'est fini. Je vais me suicider. are very passionate about film. At Cannes, the audience will actually, they'll boo a film if they don't like it. And they won't just boo the film as it's going on. They wait to the end, to the end credits, and then they just, they go boo, they boo the stars and the director, but they boo everyone. They like, they boo the key grip, they're like, le boo! The, the, the caterer, they're like, le boo! Best boy, le boo! And then they leave the theater le booing themselves, like, le boo, le boo! decide how I feel about film festivals. On one hand, I think a film is an art form and, and competitions demean it. And on the other hand, I'm a very big fan of watching other people fail. <laughs> <laughs> What's a le douchebag supposed to do? <laughs> I've actually been to the Cannes Festival three times. Oh yes, I was once in real show business. And I... I went <laughs> I went to raise money for a film. It was a passion project about a subject that's always been very close to my heart. It Bulls. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but the trouble is, when I was there, I'm not famous, so I was treated like a second-class citizen. I asked the valley at the hotel to get something dry clean, and it was like, but sir, you have no premiere to go to, so I don't have to. <laughs> said, I don't need to be on a red carpet to wear my little black dress, bitch. <laughs> And later on, that valet gave me a tip I'll never forget. In your no! pants. No! No, and from that day forward, my shoes have always matched my purse. 
I think you know what I mean by that. I hope you do, because I don't. People don't realize that the glamorous Cannes Film Festival though, is mostly just fat guys from Hollywood trying to get money out of fat guys from the Middle East so they can sell movies to fat guys from Germany. Personally, I've never understood why all these people fly thousands of miles to grovel for money in front of unscrupulous bastards. You can do that right here in Los Angeles. <laughs> Trust me. Trust. I don't... I think, though, a lot of people go to the can and they think the beaches there are lined with the European beauty sunbathing topless. And they're right. <laughs> look at this. This is from it. Yeah, yeah, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> is that guy? I see that again. Is, is he all right? I don't know if he's, I don't know if he's sunbathing or doing something a little more permanent. <laughs> But they do have nude beaches in Cannes, but in my experience, nude beaches are never as good as, as you think. You always picture sexy girls playing volleyball. When I get there, there's just creepy guys looking for sexy girls playing volleyball. <laughs> and by creepy guys, I mean me. <laughs> and by sexy girls, I mean handsome young men. <laughs> but, but, I, but I do mean volleyball. During breaks, I think about sex. Well, that's lucky for you because there's a break coming up right now, Jeffrey Peterson. When hot we're at... damn. Yes, hot damn is right. You may enjoy the products advertised. I'm sure they'll be excellent. He's lying. Shut up, I'm not. Or am I? <laughs> enjoy the advertisements in your region. funny man. Whoa, Craig, that's going to be a relief after watching you for all this time. Shut up, you sarcastic inner voice in my head who's a little bit like the last two audiences. <laughs> He's a good friend of this show. He's a good friend of mine. Please welcome the adorable Tim Meadows, everybody. Tim Meadows. Craig. How are you? I'm, I'm doing good. How are you? You know, I'm feeling a little bit vulnerable, but still masculine. Good. <laughs> I wondered uh, why you weren't at the Cannes Film Festival. Um, I've never been. I'm not in the same showbiz as those people. No. I'm like, uh, I'm like in the, I'm like on the E list or something. No, man. Yeah, yeah you, 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 well, the, that would explain why you're here, I suppose. <laughs> Nah, you're all right. Where are you now? Are you in Chicago right now? I'm in Chicago right now, yes. Not right now, this very second. You can't be at two places at once. No, apparently, you, you know... Yeah, I yeah, heard about yeah. it. But you know what? I, was, uh, I read an article in the New Yorker about... Whoa! Yeah, whoa! Yeah. Slow down there, college! <laughs> wait, I'm not even... That's, it was even more impressive than that. And it was an article about quantum physics. Uh, good night, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, in the article, they were saying that in quantum physics, you can be two places at the same time. Really? Tim, yeah. Tim, explain to me how that can actually happen then. Well, in a funny way, Tim. <laughs> Let me see. Well, Are you man. talking about bending the universe? Is that what you're talking about? The yes. wormholes where you can bend the universe, one part of the universe, another part of the universe, and bend them around like yes, that? Yes, exactly. Yeah, but I, I've heard that to you. But, you know, I, I don't know that I, you know, go along with it. Yeah, oh, take that, academics. <laughs> I, you know, yeah, because they say the time bends, you know, and they, the wormholes bend. And uh, there was also, like, a thing about, uh, from, uh, about Einstein who wrote a paper about where he sort of was saying quantum physics was kind of bull, but he sort of believed, too, that some of it actually was, you know, was not viable. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that what you said then? You, you yes. actually typed that. <laughs> I, Albert Einstein, think this is bull. Uh, <laughs> I'm not a smart man. I didn't, yeah, even, I didn't yeah, even finish I, the article, so... You, you did? Know. But but you had a copy of The New Yorker. Yeah, you know, some, I, I've always read The New Yorker because it's... Uh, I like the articles. <laughs> <laughs> really? No. Yeah. Really? I read Playboy for the articles. No, yeah. man. So have you ever read an article in Playboy? 
Uh, no. Not if I, I mean, I've seen a lot of Playboys, and then I go, oh, that looks like an interesting interview with who gives a rat's ass. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I've read the interviews, like the quick, you know, Q&A, I've read those. You know? Yeah, with the girls, like what they were like at school and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, that. And yeah. I, I sure. Yeah, that interview, yeah, everybody reads that. Oh, that's adorable. Well, I always yeah. see those interviews where they go, the girls would go, I, they, they said, what kind of guy you want? And they go, I want a funny guy. Yeah, they always say that. And I'm then, like, mm. you, I never met those girls. No, I mean, yeah. I mean, I'm a funny guy professionally. You're you know very I mean? funny. I mean, you're hilarious. I would have thought Playboy girls would be all over you. Yeah, you would think, but I got not. Uh, do they really want a funny guy, or do they want a football player with a very low IQ? <laughs> I think they want a rich football player with a very big something else. <laughs> muscles. Muscles, yeah. All right. Do you, uh, do you eat muscles? You know, the uh, shell food and stuff? <laughs> no, I, I, I like... Okay. No, no, I, I mean... No, you know, like mussels and uh, cockles. Do you ever eat cockles as well? Cockles. Cockles, no. Yeah, no, cockles are a show. It's a real thing, uh, cockles. I you get them in Aberdeen, actually, in Scotland. You get uh, cockles and mussels. And there's that song, cockles and mussels alive, alive, oh. Have you never heard that? No, I've You not. mean you're not a cockney? <laughs> no. Oh. I've never had a cockle in my mouth or a... Um... <laughs> It's a real thing. Is it really? It's a real shellfish, a little shell. It's like, in fact, you know shell uh, oil? Yes. Well, they, their symbol is kind of like a cockle. Oh, really? Yeah, it's like a little tiny clam. That's really, uh, we learned two things here tonight. Oh, yeah? We learned about quantum physics. Yeah, that type, well, if you believe that, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> If you, yeah, you're not learning anything from me about no. quantum physics. Oh, you're not learning anything from me about cockles either. <laughs> well, tell me about the meat inside the cockles. Well, okay. It's a, it's a, it's a fleshy meat, yes. and it's a... Is it salty, or is it not? It's pretty salty. Yeah, yeah. As well, a it's, it's a shellfish. Yeah, it you know, goes from the sea. It, it goes from the sea, yeah. And, uh, <laughs> and, and it's nice that you can have it in a salad, or... Um, How's know, it prepared? Um, in well, your No, it's... Uh, I'm gonna kill this robot. No, no, no. No, it's, it's boiled. It's, uh, it's bo okay. you bo I think you boil them, yeah. Oh, you, have you, did you never watch Iron Chef? No, I have never watched Iron Chef. I don't do... I watch basketball. Oh, man, come on. What? I'm a man. What are you talking about? Iron Chef. Well, I, Iron Chef's got the word iron in it. <laughs> that's a, yeah. That makes... That's so men will watch it. Oh, it's not just a chef, it's Iron Chef. He's, it's like Iron Man, except he cooks. <laughs> it's Iron Man who cooks things, yeah. Oh, screw that show. Man. Hey! That's a great show. Is it? Yeah. Just be, I don't know. Uh, listen, we have to take we have to take a commercial break. Okay. Am I? I'm not done, am I? No, no. Okay, no, good. Because no, no, no. I got more stuff to not talk. About. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. Back to a very special late late show tonight. We were talking to Tim about his uh, medical condition. <laughs> um, Tim, you want you want to uh, tell the folks about the condition you just told me about? Yeah, well, my face gets hot. His face gets hot, <laughs> and it causes my glasses to fog up a little. Yeah, that, see, right there, I'm thinking, why aren't the Playboy girls all over you? <laughs> Because I'm sure I've seen in a lot of those interviews, what I'm looking for is a funny guy who, when his face gets hot, his glasses fog up. Yeah. I don't know why they don't call. I really don't. I'm single, too, which is... Are you, are you, are you looking around right now? Looking you know, around? I've met a few uh, nice young ladies that I have, you know, I spent some time with. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, can you, right, can yeah. you cut that out of yeah, the show? Yeah, sure, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah go ahead, go ahead. I spend a lot of... Oh, hey, everybody, I know it looks like we've just kind of <laughs> gone through a space and time. <laughs> no, but like I was saying, I'm dating several young ladies. That yeah, are, yeah. Um, well, that's all right. No, but that's I'm, good. you know... I'm but you don't have time to watch Iron Chef, just basketball, and no shows that involve cooking or anything, which you consider unmanly, although many uh, chefs would say, hey, cooking is manly. Yeah, but do none They'd of my... They'd probably say even more manly than that. Really? Shaking their fist yeah, like yeah. a 1920s boxer. <laughs> um, I don't know... Any, <laughs> I don't know... Any, no, no, none of my friends watch... Uh, Iron Chef. I swear. Like, I'm well, sure. Well, well, but, uh, maybe well, but, they secretly do. Like, well, they got but, uh, it Dangerous down. Catch then, or Mythbusters, or something like that. No, man. No. Well, 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 I don't. I don't 
know who you are anymore, man. You, what, what do you watch then? What do I watch? Like, I watch this show. Oh, stop it. Come on. Right, yeah. 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 <laughs> now, I watched, I watched the other night Will Ferrell was on. That was a really funny show. Oh, yeah, you watched when Will Ferrell was on. Yeah, I would watch when Will Ferrell was on. <laughs> um... What else do I watch? I, I don't like. Know. That's why I'm asking you. I don't know. I don't want to like. Well, I watch like, like. Um, let's see. What do I watch? Do you watch uh, Unwrapped, the show where they show you how candy's made? <laughs> how do you, how do you have a life outside of it? I mean, what do you do? You, I, I just watch these horrible just shows. Watch TV the whole time. I watch Unwrapped. I watch uh, Dangerous Cat. Well, Shark Week. I oh, I never miss a Shark Week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> And uh, I always, every year, uh, watch the the Grinch at Christmas sure, time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I'm I trying to think of like what I really like. You know, I like like Thirty Rock. I, I, oh yeah, sure, no, I watch yeah, that. no, that's, uh, that's proper growing Try, up. Yeah, 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 I'm trying to think Television. of like any weird things. I or uh, you know what I do is I like to uh, I DVR the 4 a.m. Uh, NBC morning news show. Nice. Yeah. I, now we're wandering into my territory. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> because the weather lady on that show has the, the most. Ah uh, no! Uh, see, come no. On. Uh, it's true. It's not weather lady, it's meteorologist lady. Okay, yeah. well, this meteorologist lady has yes. the most gigantic jugs. You weather balloons, weather balloons. I'm sorry, weather balloons. Right, okay. <laughs> that you'd ever want to see, and so I DVR it <clears throat> every morning. Man, that is creepy. Yeah. <laughs> And then I, I speed forward through the news and traffic, and I would just watch the weather. Blah, blah, Osama bin Laden. Yeah, more weather, yeah. Blah, blah, yeah. SEAL Team 6. Whoa! <laughs> yeah. Hey, you know what's a great show? House Hunters International. You ever watch that? No. Oh, that's great. That. They go to these different... Uh, people, usually from uh, remote areas of Canada, uh -huh. uh, and they, they choose, they're they looking for vacation homes in places like, you know, Pakistan and stuff like that. <laughs> it's Where fantastic. It, I've, actually, I've seen one. Oh, episode of that, and yeah. it was a it was a Canadian couple, and I think they were in in um, El Salvador. Right, they were going to El Salvador. It's, it's like Greg and Kim are looking for a place to get away from all the civilization and safety of Canada. <laughs> yeah. And go to, you know, like El Salvador, like, you know, of all the places, I'm sure it's really nice Oh, now. it's a beautiful place, yeah, absolutely. Whenever I hear El Salvador, I think of, like, coup. That's the first thing that comes to right, mind. Right, yeah, yeah. Political, uh... I think they're okay now, though. I think they're fairly stable in El Salvador. You should do a show from El Salvador. <laughs> Tell you what, you do a remote from El Salvador. <laughs> We'll see how that works out. If, if, if you live, we'll go down there for a whole show. You know what? I will do that because I know that there's like surfing is really, it's a big I, thing. Do you there. surf? Yeah, I, I've surfed a, a little and then I sort of stopped. What do you mean like once in Hawaii? No, no, no. I've surfed maybe a hundred times. Really? But then I stopped because one time I went out and I got caught. You know, you have to paddle out past the waves. Mm -hmm. And I got caught by a wave coming when I was going out. It flipped my board over. And I was, uh, I was scared, basically. I peed That's, my trunks. You peed your trunks? <laughs> yes. It flipped me over. I was on my back. And, you know, like it's shallow water down there. Oh, uh, and, and you hurt your back and peed your trunks? Yes. And you, and, any cockle uh, uh, injuries? Cockle action? No, no, no cockle no. I injuries. mean, because in the shallow water is where you find the cockles. Really? <laughs> Well, no, I found no cockles. Yeah, yeah. But wow. so, but that put me off a little bit from surfing, so I took a break. No, but well, if you, you got me to something, go, no, I, I, I you know, if, I don't know. Um, can we send uh, Tim to El Salvador? No, no, we can't. Uh, what about uh, Fresno? <laughs> we can send you to Maybe. Fresno, but the surfing's bad. You should ask the audience. What do you guys? No, think? whoa, whoa, whoa! Stop! Stop! No, 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 no. Yeah. No, no, no. No, 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 no. This is not that type of show where we encourage participation from helpful people. Oh. I thought it was one of those shows. I no, no, it's not. No, no. This, this is a dance show, though, isn't it? You do just some dancing here. <laughs> what do you mean? Do you mean... I sometimes think I think that horse is phoning it in, man. <laughs> Did you see how that dance it was hardly? Yeah, he was just punk. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Blah blah. What I really want to do is direct. <laughs> yeah, I mean, right. When I see those guys backstage every time, I just think, you know, like, this is show business, fellas. That's right. You know, you That's stand right. backstage every day with a horse suit. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> you know, you've been saying douchebag a lot lately. I didn't say it for the entire time you were here. Which took, which, which took a lot of self-control, actually. <laughs> Um, I have been saying it a lot, yeah, yeah. I love that word, though. It's one of my favorite curse words. It's not actually a curse word. I don't know. It depends on who you talk to. You know, I mean, oh. uh, it might be. Is it a curse word? No, it's not. You can say it again if you like. <laughs> I, I, I can't because I've been saying it a lot. Can I say it in camera? What? No, no, no. You can't say it in the camera. <laughs> the cameraman might think you were talking to him, and they become surly at the slightest provocation. I mean. <laughs> We don't want that, because those guys are tough. They are tough, man. It takes a lot of muscles to move a big 1950s camera around the, uh... Oh, we're out of time. We're out of time. Oh, uh, dippity uh, do. Uh, you want a quick mouth organ or awkward pause? I would love a mouth organ. All right, then. Uh, very quick one, though. It has to be quick. Let me, get, right. it, let me get it out for you. Uh, tap it, unwrap it. There you are. Here we go. Ready? One, two, three. The minutes, everybody. has won a Grammy. <laughs> I was I was going to try and say Grammy winning, but every time I try and say it, I Crikey. Oh. <laughs> My uh, next guest is a Grammy winning, oh, there you are, singer and songwriter. His latest album, Gathering Mercury, is in stores now. <laughs> well, I mean, but don't try and get it now because it's very late in your region. <laughs> Please welcome Colin Hay, everybody. Colin Hay. Hey, how very nice to finally meet you. How are you? Good. You're quite, you're quite high, aren't you? Well, up there. high in what you mean? Excitable? No, you're, uh, you're, you're, tall? You're, 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 you're up there, quite a height. Ra yes, I have my you're chair raised up and I have a snake cup, uh, and I do this because I'm insecure about my penis size. <laughs> It's actually, it's the law in late night TV, apparently, that the host has a chair that sits higher than the guest. I, it goes back to Henry VIII back or something, I yeah. It. I heard, though, at the uh, Melbourne Comedy Festival, though, that you were there a long, long time ago. I was and in apparently Melbourne. Apparently, the, 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 the dust is still settling from when yeah, you were there. Yeah, I was, so. uh, I was still <laughs> whistling into liquor glasses. Um, I, saw you, I saw you there one night. You were there? I was there, yeah. I'm sorry, man. It was good. <laughs> I still remember. I still remember one gag. Really? Yeah. I had gags. Yeah. Maybe yeah. it wasn't as bad as it, I thought. It then, was right? good. <laughs> it was good. You said, uh, you know, you say you should never um, annoy a bee, but how do you annoy a bee? Change the channel when it's what when it's you know when it's watching the television, and it goes, I was watching that sting. <laughs> you uh, I remember you're that. Not, I remember you're not originally that. from Australia, are you, Colin? <laughs> I remember that all this time. Yeah, that no, I, 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 um, no, you're I'm, from, I'm you're from Saltcoats. Saltcoats uh, in Scotland is a, a town on the coast, I believe. It's a town on the coast that people from Glasgow used to come and destroy for a couple of weeks. Of, every, every summer for a couple of weeks they would come and destroy it. <laughs> it's true, during the Glasgow fair fortnight. Glasgow, uh, Glasgow guys were tough, you know. They were, I always used to see them walking down the street and they had winkle pickers and there were teddy boys then. Eating know? cockles from a bag. And, uh, <laughs> And I used to, I used to want to be a Glasgow boy, but I could never be that because no. there was too many hills and dales in my blood from Ayrshire, you know. So yeah, yeah. So, and, but you then you went to Australia when I you went were to what? Australia. My, I was 14. One day, my father came home and says, "Right, we're off to Australia." So that's where we went. We had a music shop in Scotland. Really? Aye. What did from, you from sell? Age, we sold guitars and pianos, drums and, and records and stuff. Yeah. Is that and that's how you get into men at work because you were a basically musician? yes, basically. Oh, my father played me the Beatles. He says, "Listen to these guys. These guys are good. They'll do well," you know. And, but uh, wait, wait, wait. If you're originally from Scotland, when you sang that song, do you come from a land down under, you should have said, not originally. That's right. <laughs> but it, 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 didn't, it didn't really, I couldn't fit it in, you know. No, well, no, that would work. Do you come from a land down no, under, no, no, not, not originally. originally. Yeah. 
I was, I was having a hard enough time trying to, trying to rhyme breakfast with nervous. That was a very dodgy lyric. But that I was, yeah, I remember that. Mm. Time and breakfast, very nervous. nervous. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I used to get nervous in breakfast time. Yeah. Usually about the time I was in the Melbourne Comedy Festival, That's actually. Right, yeah. Yeah. That's right. Every I breakfast I time. I, to like, somebody, ah. I, said, I said to a friend of mine in Melbourne, I was talking to her, and I said, uh, I'm doing Craig Ferguson's show. And she said, oh, the dust is still settling from the mayhem that he created at the Melbourne Comedy, Comedy Festival. I said, please elaborate. And and uh, she didn't. <laughs> Stay right there, buddy. You know what this is? This is American dollars. Yeah. You hang on to these. And Thank keep you your very mouth much. Shut, all right. <laughs> so this is your CD, then you say? Yes, it is. All right. Look. Do they still do the, the CDs? Do you have it on the iTunes though? You have to I have, have it on, on the, the iTunes, iTunes and yeah. it's, in, it's in that store. What store? Well, the store that's left. There's not very many stores that are left. So what, the, the record stores? You can get it in the record store. Do you remember when you used to go... I used to go into record stores when I was a kid, and there would always be some, forgive the word, douchebag, who would always be very kind of dismissive about your record collection. That's what I hated about it the most. Well, going into, going into record stores? Yeah, and there would be always some guy going, oh, you're buying that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But we used to have, we used to have uh, people from the Glasgow Fair coming down, and they would they would buy up big every 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 year. They'd come in and empty the store. We always had to have uh, there were certain records you always had to have. You had to have uh, Jim Reeves. Jim Reeves, yeah, Johnny Cash. Very, uh, very, very people important. from Glasgow love Johnny Cash. If you don't like Johnny Cash, I can have yourself. I say. <laughs> so, I mean that. <laughs> You like Johnny Cash, though, right? I do like Johnny Yeah, Cash. well, there you are, then. We're going to be all right. Yeah. <laughs> I see your accent, even although you left Scotland when you were 14, seems very uh, non-Australian. Well, I had an Australian accent. I had two accents. I always used to go home and see my parents. I'd say, I'd speak like this, and then when I'd go out on the street, I'd speak like an Australian bloke just to assimilate and not get into fights. But no, I developed an Australian accent, and then it just went away. Uh, when I came over here, I came over here 20 years ago, and it just disappeared. Where do you live now, then? I live in Topanga Canyon. That's a very... Uh... <laughs> Yeah, your accent's completely L.A., man. Right. I'm like, oh, that's what I'm hearing, Malibu. Right. Yeah. yeah. You're getting a bit of Topanga in there. Yeah, well, there you are, then. Well, what listen, else? um... What is that? Do you fancy... Well, you'll probably fancy a mouth organ instead of an awkward pause, won't you? I don't know. Well, maybe there's been a couple of awkward pauses already, so maybe we could have another one. I don't mind. I don't, I don't play the mouth organ, but I've you never don't? tried it. No. You come from a music store in Solcos? You were in... Uh, do you come from a land down under? Not originally. Yeah, yeah. And uh, you still? <laughs> well, who played the... Doo -doo 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 -doo? That was Greg. Oh. Yes, that was Greg. That wasn't on the mouth organ anyway, was no, it? No, that was on the flute. Oh, the flute. Let <laughs> <laughs> I me. Mean, did, you, did you play the flute when you were in Scotland? I did not. I played the recorder. Oh, yes, the recorder. For Mrs. Ah. McDougall. Yeah, recorder. We used to have to play them at school. The most irritating musical instrument That's in the history of musical correct. instruments. That's right. Yeah. Sleeves. Always green sleeves. Yeah. Yes. Not a great, great song, I don't think. I look forward to your letters, Henry VIII fans. <laughs> Apparently he wrote that, uh, Green Sleeves. Yes, he did, yes. You think he did? I think he did, yes. Uh, Wait, did he, when did he have time? Well, of, between all the beheadings. Yes. <laughs> and oppressing the Irish yeah, as right. well. He's yeah. beheading people, oppressing the Irish. That's a full time job that's right, right there. And he, and he, and he, do, do. I think he ripped it off. I think he ripped it off one of his one of his uh, one of his troubadours, you know. Oh yeah, troubadours, eh? Yes, yes. That's nice. <laughs> just... Are we doing the awkward pause now? I think then? we are. Uh, it's going quite well. I think it's, uh, it's excellent. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, mouth organ, no fancy Sure, one? sure. Yeah, all right, right then. Uh, but you already say you can't play. I can't play. No. All right then. Well, just you know, suck and blow. <laughs> is there a, is there a, oh, yeah. One of the world's greatest harmonicas, that is. You have the natural confidence of a born musician, though. Even though you can't play, I you can't go at play, you, but, but you go at it like I you, go at it like a like I can. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Much like the way I play. You ready? Yeah. Oh, well, what are we gonna do it now? Well, well you're gonna just rehearse it, it? No, you, no, no. You're well, there's no rehearsing in this show. Yeah. This no. is just but a, you're gonna come back and actually play music. You're gonna play music when you come back. I am, but this is a combination of the awkward pause and the harmonica playing, right? Oh, I like it. Yes. Oh, I like your style. All right. No, let's go for discords. Okay. No, right. that's what I was going for. But. No. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody's going to come back before. Hey, everybody, everybody, welcome back. Please uh, welcome.
welcome back to Perform Send Somebody from his album Gathering Mercury. Please welcome the very talented Scottish Australian Colin Hay, everybody. Colin. <laughs> talking to no more automation I'm hoping you can walk me through and solve my situation it's after midnight I've been on hold so long you broke through the silence now I'm not alone you're asking me to help you see the words begin to flow this was not my plan or my intention how was i to know for such a short time i feel i've known you for so long Blue. <laughs> I'm sorry, uh, we didn't have time for the email segment tonight, so I'll do them now. Uh, what time is it, Jeff Pearson? yippee ki Mother Tweeter. <laughs> Play the jingle, then. Quietly, quickly, we have 34 seconds to answer all these emails. <laughs> this is from Leah in Louisville, Kentucky, or as they pronounce it in Louisville, oh, uh, <laughs> Craig, my brother told me I'll never have a boyfriend if I keep acting all nerdy. I thought guys like nerdy girls. You're right. Uh, <laughs> this is from uh, Zabig in Ua Beach in Hawaii. Zabig? <laughs> Aloha, Craig. Does Jeff have a side job? Do you have a side job, Jeff? 
Okay. Uh, uh, hey, Craig. Uh, then this is from Me Sue in uh, Butte, Montana. <laughs> really? A lot of people in from Montana? How many? Wow, wait, 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 wait. Who's left in Montana? <laughs> I look forward to your letters. Uh, uh, right there, that's it. We're out of time. But um, let me just assure you that these emails will be filed. And I'll get around to them. He's lying. Yeah. We'll see you tomorrow. Good night, everybody.